make a trolling motor that mounts to back of kayak right near the rear of cockpit and has a fairly flattish profile and a fold up blade that can deploy itself by swinging around and over the side of the boat and down into the water and unfolding all the blades and then beginning to spin and its wiring can be located passing through the rear of the boat and into batteries located inside the boat and the boat can be outfitted with solar panels to be charging while you go down the river while you go down And in this way, you can kayak hands-free, just relaxing. And a little tactile switch system can be put on the front of the cockpit or next to its side that will enable you to steer just by moving your finger left and right over the tactile switch. And that will steer the motor's direction and your paddle can just be sitting on your lap during all of this. Stop listening. Baby, did you hear the invention? Do you know what a trolling motor is? Okay, so it's like a stick with a little fan on the end. And the fan turns and it causes the boat to move. And so it will be... The fan blades will all fold up like a flower that's not opened. What are you talking about? I said, I said a trolling motor is like a stick with a fan on the end. The fan spins and it can move a boat. And then you could have the blades of it fold up like a flower that's not bloomed. And then the stick could be located on the back of your kayak and it could be a flat profile thing just kind of mounted to the back where you would lay back onto it. Mm -hmm. So that's the only place on a kayak that wouldn't get banged up by rocks and stuff. It's right where the top of it is right behind you. That never gets hit. So they would be located there, and then when you want to deploy it, it could be a voice activator, a little button on the side of the boat, whatever. And it would move out and wrap around the boat and unfurl the fan blades and then begin turning. The power for it would be located inside the boat because wires can come through it and be drilled and entered through the top of the boat. And so that will power it, and it could have batteries powered. And then solar panels could be on the boat to keep it charging at all times to keep your batteries full. And the point of this is you press a button or you say trolling motor engage or whatever and it will begin turning the fan blades and it will move your kayak for you. And then you can steer it with little buttons on the side of the boat. You could just touch those or it could be like a slider switch, just a tactile sensor and you just move your hand left and right and that will steer the motor so the motor will angle slightly left or right according to that. And you can just relax like in long stretches of flat water you can just have it going and just be sitting there not paddling and just use your finger moving left and right and it will steer you. Yeah, but you don't realize that this is people trying to be, be part of the outdoors to, and people who love outdoors. I don't need to sell it to everyone else. I want this. People, I, I would know, love it. But these are people. A lot of times you're tired, you've, you've been filled with adrenaline and fear and you're exhausted and I want to let you rest and I want to relax too. And yeah, we could do it and get all tired out. But the, it would be nice to just be able to... Don't say these are people. It's us. And okay. you and I would like to relax sometimes.
between Whitewater just to rest. That would enable us to not be as sore the next day and this and that. We can still do exercise at home with our recumbent bike. We could still go to the gym as our respective workouts regularly. We should be doing that anyways. But when we're on a kayaking vacation, we should just stay within our limits and just do as much exercise as we want. We can optionally just keep paddling. But if we're tired, we didn't get enough sleep, we're sore. No, I want this. And so how many times have you wanted to rest and I didn't do all the paddling? That's happened many times, so don't try. Oh, that's not true. Oh, don't, don't try either because it's only been like 1%. Okay, and it happened. 1%. And you know what? I'd rather have you save your energy for the hard... We're going to be doing hard, scary rapids. And I'd rather have you have lots of energy for that so we can survive scary, fast stuff. She'll like it, guys. I I will love it. You know, I've been dreaming about a kayaking trolling motor and, and just kind of joking around about it. Like, wouldn't it be nice to have that? And everybody's like, yeah, that'd be amazing. Haha. <laughs> and then you just forget about it. But today I was really thinking about how the design would work. I used to think it would deploy out the bottom of the boat, but that would be a weakness to the structure of the boat. With this, there's no structural weakness. I finally figured out the key to actually doing this for real where it, there's no risk of it interfering with the boat's function in any way because it would be mounted in a place that's totally not going to affect your kayaking at all and I just feel like this is going to be a game changer for me it's going to take my kayaking enjoyment to a whole new level and you know what I get I bet you my dad would be a, a big uh, he would want to buy one for sure and I'll tell you why there are so many kayaking trips where we're with this guy, and he always paddles way faster than us on the flat water. We're white water kayakers. We just want to relax in the flat water, but he wants to keep paddling. And so we get all tired out trying to keep up with this guy who paddles like all year round, and we might be out of paddling shape. It takes certain muscles to paddle, and you could be getting really sore from this. And so if you don't paddle as much as somebody else, it's hard to keep up with them. And so it becomes a real issue. And this issue is going to become increasingly difficult for my dad as he enters into his 70s and 80s. It's going to be really hard. And he might even quit kayaking because it's just too hard to keep up with people in the flat water. With this trolling motor system, he'll be able to kayak well into his hundreds. It's going to be incredible. It will just make kayaking so much more enjoyable. The flat water stretches, you should be able to move with excellent speed and no effort at all. I think a lot of people actually would be clients of this. My wife is saying, no, this is outdoor sport, it's good exercise, sunlight, etc. But that that is not taking in the whole picture. There are a lot of people who want to exercise, but they get out there and they're with people with different athleticism levels. And so some people are waiting for other people who are out of shape. And struggling to keep up with the group and then other people are suffering because they just want to relax or they, they were drinking the night before and they're just tired and hung over there could be anything they might have a, um, some cramps going on they might be dehydrated whatever it is and so just having this thing available for those rough days where it's just hard to keep up with the group you could just press a button and have the boat start going on its own that would just be a tremendous load off your shoulders and make the whole group happy because now everyone's keeping up and it would just make things a lot smoother, I think. I know. Now, whether people would be willing to spend the money I would charge for, it's another question. And how long it'll take me to set up um, an assembly line manufacturing system with my robots and what, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's a long ways away. But it doesn't hurt to have these excellent ideas coming out, getting written down, building prototypes, testing it out, perfecting it over the years. And then eventually, when I'm a billionaire, I can bring these products to market and my children who are going to be entrepreneurs as part of their curriculum I could ask them to bring some of my ideas to market um, and program my robots to take care of it and the kids can help me finish the robots and program them and make more of them etc and we'll go from there um, it's not even optional 
to have my wife to have my wife do anything for me because she is too busy on Facebook and with her job and when she's not working she's generally lounging and eating all of the snacks I have in my room at arm's reach because I like to be well prepared and well stocked and so she eats all my snacks and then I have to just drink water and like eat uncooked rice which break my teeth because there's no snacks in arm's reach and I can't be bothered to walk upstairs to get food because that's a tremendous inconvenience and so my wife takes away all my treats and eats all my cookies and brownies and all my chips and all my crackers it really hurts my feelings so anyways that's why none of my ideas can get done until I get around to them until I have children which I can assign to do it as part of their curriculum for their education and my wife's not my child and she won't take instruction even when I say things like, you can't talk to me for 10 minutes, she has a hard time following that rule. And then when I said that, she started laughing, which makes me really sad. And then when I just said that, she started laughing as well, which makes me really sad. You know who else would like this? This idea of a self-deploying, safe, kayaking, trolling motor that's whitewater capable and can save you a lot of paddling headaches is kayak fishermen. They are not generally out there to do a lot of paddling. And a lot of them even buy trolling motors because they just can't be bothered to paddle. They just want to relax and fish. Um, they'd be huge clients for this. And the great thing about my trolling motor design is it's self-deploying. Like, it puts itself away, straps itself up, like locks itself down in the back of the boat. Whereas a normal trolling motor, you'd have to, like, tuck it into, like, bungee cords or something. And then take it out and set it up every time. Which would be a tremendous pain in the butt. But those guys already do use trolling motors. You know, I think it'd be fun even to go through my favorite rapids with the trolling motors turned on. <laughs> because it will be propelling you, and so all you have to do is make a rudder and steer, and it will help you to bust through everything. It, it will, like, I notice when I paddle with my wife in the tandem kayak, um, she paddles while I steer a lot of times. And if she doesn't paddle hard enough, we don't make it past whatever rock or whatever we're trying to ferry around. Well, with the trolling motor, that would do what she's doing. Uh, probably not as powerful, but it would definitely supplement and aid, so she wouldn't have to paddle as hard. And it would just make things really smooth. But as a solo kayaker, with a powerful enough trolling motor, I imagine it would be just really interesting to see the dynamics of that and how that would play out. I think it would be really fun to go through rapids at a extra fast speed and it would probably give you more control as well it'd be very fun to experiment with out of just you know boredom and just interesting doing the same old rapids over and over this would give a whole new flavor to it all i think it'd be really a neat uh experiment it would change the sport for me tremendously in a good way like just mixing things up so not only in the flat water, but in the white water rapids themselves, the trolling motor would be really fun to mess with. <laughs> 